Hey guys, so still sick. <clears throat> it is on this um same day I took made the other video. So this is the uh, cough syrup that I bought. Oops. And the reason why I'm doing a review on it is, I mean, heck, why not? Let's do a vi review and see if it works. So I've been coughing. I got a little bit of a runny nose. Um, this only cost me now. Most cough syrups cost eleven dollars. They just do. This cost me two dollars and fifty-seven cents. So y'all, y'all can see, it is a knockoff. I got it from the supermarket. It is a knockoff of the real brand. I want to do a review to see to tell y'all if it's any good or not. If it actually clears up my symptoms. So right now I've been dealing with mostly the main thing I've been dealing with is the coughing. I just got finished eating some food. And um, this is my first time taking cough syrup. I never took it before. I my last actually I'm sorry. My last time taking cough syrup was when I was a little little girl. I mean, I was about five years old, maybe six, probably about six or seven years old before I took cough syrup the last time. So this is my first time taking it as an adult. So I've already opened the box, but I haven't opened up the seal yet. I have not taken cough syrup before in a long time. So we're going to see if it's any good. What I like about it is that it comes with a safety pill. Let me try to tape this off. <clears throat> so I like that it wasn't just like open and shut. So I'm going to make this part of the video for now and then I'll tell y'all, it's kind of clingy, if it worked or if it jacks me up or something crazy happens. I had to blow cups before I use them because I feel like, eh, came out of the store factory. <laughs> so it's a safety cap. It looks like you push it down, turn it. Did it work? Nope. <laughs> oh, man, this is really in. How do you open this? It says, so you what, spin it and then turn? All right. So, so far, I'm not liking this cup, this cap. Okay, yay. <laughs> That did not want to open. Let's smell it first. Oh, 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 I remember this smell. Oh, I hate it. I remember this little girl. Oh, I just want to throw up. I hate it. There's nothing wrong with this company. It's just I remember that. I remember when I was five years old. My mom gave it to me, and I said, Mom, I said, Mom, I can't take the way it tastes. It tastes so nasty. I said, I was going to throw up. Oh, I hate it. That cherry. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to get it down. I'm trying to get it down. I remember this. I hate this taste. Oh, it's so nasty. I'm going to try this. I can't stop coughing. So it says fill to the 10 millimeter mark. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hate this smell, guys. Wish me luck. Please wish me luck. Oh, oh, oh. Is, is it just me? Am I the only one who hates the taste and the smell of cough syrup? I remember. So this is why I waited 20 years before taking it again. I haven't taken cough syrup in 20 years. I'm 27. So my last time, 26. And I'm under math. Either way, I haven't taken cough syrup in 20 years. Now I know why. Oh, I forgot how nasty. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to do this. Oh, I'd rather take a pill. I'd rather take a horse pill. <sighs> Oh, I hate that. Oh, it's so nasty. Oh, oh it's so nasty. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. Oh, I hate, hate the taste of cherry cough syrup. Oh, oh it's gross. Oh, my gosh. Am I the only one who hates that? All right, so I just took it at uh, 5.26 p.m. And I will come back, hopefully, unless I'm jacked. Um, I'll come back in maybe a, an hour or maybe two. Or maybe even tomorrow to tell y'all if I like it or not. But see y'all then. And right now, I should tell you what I feel. This one tasted kind of minty. It had the, um, almost a like Pepto-Bismol taste. Bismol taste, I can't say it. With um, the cherry tasted disgusting but um it was doable it almost had a bit of a seltzer thing happened it had like a seltzer -y, uh fizzy type of thing going on and um it was kind of fizzy or seltzer 
And the, what I like so far, they did add to it. I don't remember this being part of it. When I was a little girl, it was just really, really, like, thick and nasty. This, I'm feeling a cooling sensation. What I'm actually feeling it is, I feel like it's numbing my throat. The, the first thing I feel when I first swallowed it is immediate. My tongue is numb, but not bad numb. At the back of my tongue is numb. And I'm feeling the numbness go down to my throat. And it's really, really, like, I just swallowed some gum. It's, like, really minty. Like, it's minty. Like, I can feel the mint. It feels like I just rub Vicks on my chest. I like it so far. I feel like it's soothing. Like, right here was so sore. I was coughing so much. And now I feel the soothing. It just feel like it's just so nice. Actually, I'm liking this a lot. So, we'll see. I'm going to come back and talk to y'all about it tomorrow or later on today but right now I like it so I'll probably take it again before I um before I go to bed and see if I can actually give me some relief because I haven't got any sleep so yeah I like it I mean it's disgusting but it's worth the disgust if um it I mean that cool I mean it feels so cool y'all don't know I've been in pain that feels good so far I like it so we'll see okay bye hey guys so i am all better um this is uh after about four days of being on the cough syrup so this this is to this i'm making this video to complete my cough syrup review video as y'all saw before i was really really sick and so i took this medicine for about let me pull it out so you can get a good look at it again I took this uh, cough syrup for about uh, four days, right? I drank tea throughout this whole cold. I took this for four days, and I took it three times a day. And I swallowed it, and it was gross, and I didn't like it, but I got over it. And you know what? I am well. I cannot believe it. Like, I've been, oh my gosh, I was so sick. And I don't know when this video is going to go up. But just know that from the time that I made the first video to now, it was four days. And I feel so good. The first thing this medicine cleared up was I had uh, two, I had an ear infection. This this cold hit me hard. It gave me an ear infection, that ear, like, ear not, nose, and throat thing happening. And so I had a little ear infection that clicked to my throat. And it just was so scratchy and bad. And I took it, and that's the first thing it got. It, like, just soothed my ears and soothed my throats. But I kept coughing, and I couldn't sleep. But, like, this didn't really help with the sleep. But it did help with um, the, the pain. It helped with the pain and the symptoms like that. And uh, so it's like a, a non-drowsy, so it's not going to help you sleep at all. But it did help me with my throat and nose, and it did, like, stop up. The, like when you want to just like the, the congestion it like cleared up and dried it out and uh the weird thing is it does make you smell like cough syrup like you like, like you smell like cough syrup got that medication smell but it was so worth it um i would say is it the best i have no idea but it's the best for its price i would say yeah it was like much like i said before all the rest of the cough strips cost like 11 bucks this cost 258 two dollars and I believe it did with just the same amount as the professional ones, in my opinion. Maybe the professional ones will have you doing backflips. I don't know. But all I know is that this one, which is just a store-bought one or a store brand one, it was awesome. And I feel really good. So I just wanted to update y'all on that. Um, I would definitely recommend this. This gets a 10 out of 10 for the price versus what it does. It's not like it's a miracle drug, but like, like literally for the price. I'd say it was a really good buy. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sick cough review. Oh, and I took a few cough drops during my sickness too. So I drank tea and a little cough drops. So that's part of what made me get better. But almost it's just a common cold. But yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And it's for adults. So it's not for kids. It's for uh, ages 12 and over. So it's not for little kids. And, um, yeah, it's, it says that do not take more than six doses in any 24-hour period. So, like I said, I only took three in my 24-hour period. And it just, I did it, and I woke up, um, in the afternoon and before I went to bed. So, it was pretty good. And I stayed pretty active throughout my sickness. I was able to, like, you know, go out and, uh, you know, chill and do a bunch of other stuff. So, it was pretty good. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll tell you all guys later and tell me in the comments if y'all tried this company before or if I have good, better, um, recommendations and, um, See y'all then. Okay. 
Bye.